What's going on, beautiful people? Uh, before we get into the video, I just want to say you are better than anybody else at what you do. And I really appreciate you, even if you're just here for the split five seconds to hear me say that. Or, you know, you watch the video, uh, you know, whether you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the dislike button, click, you know, hit that X in, in, in your left corner or where, wherever it is. Uh, right corner, depending on what type of uh, device uh, that you may be browsing on, whatever that is, I appreciate you. So today we're going to look at the two most expensive homes in Las Vegas. One of them actually sold a couple of years ago uh, for the record price of $25 million. Now, the funny thing is that Vegas used to be a place that nobody really wanted to go uh, in terms of, you know, that kind of value. It's a desert, right? Vegas is a desert. And we'll do we'll have like a, a, a whole video uh, coming up that I'm really excited to to upload uh, following this one. So, you know, I won't get into too much about Vegas. But yeah, it was a desert, not really a, a place like that, you know, where people are spending tens of millions of dollars. That's not the case anymore. I mean, even Mark Wahlberg moved to Vegas. So that's, that's, that's saying something. I mean, and you can get a, a lot more than what you can get here in LA for, you know, what is it? Uh, 10, 10, 15 million, 10, 15 million, you know, some of these houses are the equivalent of the 60, 70 million dollar homes that we see, you know, that we look at uh, on the channel that are in Bel Air or Beverly Hills, you know, some somewhere like that. So it is really cool. It's really exciting. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll go a little deeper in, in you know, in the next video uh, about, you know, this turn of events in Vegas. But yeah, we're going to look at the currently the most expensive listing available in Vegas, along with a property that is no longer for sale. It probably is for sale, but it's it's off market for another 30, 30 million. These are the only two properties with that 30, 30 million mark. So I figured, you know what, let's watch both of them and kind of see how they vary uh, against each other. We're going to be checking out uh, another one of Enos's videos, so it'll be a nice detailed version, have a lot of, you know, good scenes and stuff for us to actually really get a deep dive inside of the home. And then we have another video uh, by, of course, you know, one of my favorite uh, realtor, you know, being, you know, it's like, hey, being that I'm also a realtor, you know, he, he's, he's one of the Realtor's favorite realtor? I, yeah, yeah, th that. Okay, <laughs> that. So um, we're going to watch Josh Altman's uh, video when he toured a $30 million uh, Vegas property. So let's, uh, let's, let's check these homes out um, if you're still here. So this is in Henderson, which is uh, what's up, everybody? It's in just here. outside to of episode. Vegas. This week we're in Henderson, Nevada, looking at the breathtaking views of Las Vegas and about to tour this stunning modern estate. This home was designed and built by Blue Heron, and it was recently sold for a record breaking price of twenty five million dollars, which makes this home the most expensive property ever sold in the history of Southern Nevada. Now, the house itself is phenomenal, striking contemporary architecture, walls of glass opening towards amazing views, exquisite finishes. We got a really special episode ahead of us. Now, specs of this home. It's currently designed as a three bedroom that can be up to five bedrooms if needed, nine bathrooms, 15,000 square really feet of interested in how that, space, that built on a 1.26 acre happens. lot. And as always, we will leave more information about the property and the property link down in the description of this video. It's definitely now, an interesting Now, although this home uh, has been sold, take. 
to be able to convert it from three to five and you know, that, without really any work. Look at the guy in the in background. There, he's like, allowing oh, us to tour the I'm in the video. Development Crap. Shared with all of you. And now, let's begin our tour. Like, he, he slid up out of there. Like, oh no! They're filming. Well, duh, like, you know they're filming. Why are you walking around? Beautiful. That was a very nice tub. House has a lot of motorized uh, features, as it should. At that, at this price point, wow. So the pool, there's a pool inside, like pool goes inside the house it's a very nice the looking view right in there the exclusive gated community of McDonald Highlands from the exterior we can see the beautiful modern lines of this home exterior is clad with smooth stucco complemented with this meta quartzite cladding that we're gonna see throughout the both Subscribe. interiors and the exteriors of this home minimalist lines front is nicely landscaped with this drought tolerant rock design to and me not to not to enos he doesn't need any more subscribers to nevada's landscape right in the center of this home we have this section that is a little bit more taller than the rest of the house that's where we have the staircase and the sky lounge of this home it's the third floor the where sky you get lounge. incredible views and we're going to see okay. that later in the video also, that section has this awesome butterfly roof design that we're going to talk about later in the video. Now, on my left-hand side, we have the driveway taking us to the motor court of this home. And it's definitely this side, a nice design arch of architecture. A panel roof that takes you to the courtyard and the walkway of this property. Gorgeous pivot door, still framed, and I really like the mirror details that they have throughout. As we go, so they in, tape the door the off, so continues. he can just open Same it. Same meta quartzite that we saw in the exterior of the home. It's pretty much broad throughout the property. On my right hand side, we have beautiful planters with a corten still giving it that rustic look. And as we continue, corten style steel panels are throughout. That's actually the garage of this home currently being used as the office space for Blue Heron, and I'm going to explain that more later in the video. And we have this reflection pool kind of setting the tone as you walk into the property. It's a beautiful it's detail nice. that says that tranquil vibe. And I it love, even with the pool, very the impressive to me the, rustic that steel panel Enos, details, you know, he the probably asks the for all, all these little these small details, details and then he just on my right -hand side, probably memorizes hallway, them like before he gets there. Center section of this and it's property just like right here. beautiful steel little, details. little stuff. Same Little stuff that really here. doesn't mean anything. And that pool that we saw but overflows to this section here and continues into the other reflection it's pool. It's better than, which is amazing. you know, now, we have what this most here. agents, we including into myself, home, I want to take would know here. about and this a home where we that have we're selling or showing I to someone. I said because this is a detached structure Very right next to the home. Currently stays as an office. I love this space because we have walls of glass bringing a ton of natural light. To the interiors we have a desk set up here so the and day is like what is that may walkway, they brought some of the planter details something into that's it's well, the 27th of something i can't even make it out anymore I, I, i'm, they went I'm blind even design, with glasses looks a little bit more sleek and kind of cleaner another detail i really like here they left all the columns and the steel beams that pretty much frames this structure all exposed giving it that industrial look and we have these sliding glass doors opening up to the patio space for the office I love how they landscape this entire space with native it's materials and plants from Nevada. It's definitely different to have Overall, like just a nice touch an office nice that has office nothing to do with the house. Like yeah, for sure. Now, Michael, let's pen up to the ceiling for a second. You can see the stucco detail on the exterior pretty much going into the interiors as well. So you have that seamless transition, recessed lights on the ceiling and wrapping around. Like I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to the side, office. And um, this frosted glass door opens up to the half bathroom for the office. I wish I had something like that because then you guys wouldn't hear my kids uh, uh, in half of the videos. Medicine cabinet and the same metaphor site is actually wrapped on this side as well. 
Right hand side we have glaze tiles going with that black colored theme and a black toilet. See? And as we exit this it, glaze tile, casita, like it's, to me it's just tile. I would have just called it tile and not mention the fact Overall, that it was glazed. Glaze just means it, it's shiny. Now I is the, on, it goes on top walkway, of the tile and, and then it has that in, shiny effect. You glaze your bathtubs the incredible views when of Las Vegas Strip. you want to have this that, frame, that, you without know, a doubt, is one of the most clean, clean look. This house. And I know it looks all open right now, but we actually have a sliding glass door assembly here, closing this section, and we have another one on this side in case you want to close this walkway. Now you may ask why you want to close that walkway because on my right hand side we have the primary bedroom suite which we're going to tour later in the video but i want to take everybody to the edge of this walkway here so, so they this have is this like an outdoor promenade pool, framing the amazing views of las vegas strip and i love this part of the home because you can see a lot of the materials and finishes they use throughout the property in this space it's nice steel panels glass a little walls. confusing and i love how they frame this view but yet still right brought some of the reason why i say Nevada it's 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 a little confusing is because when like i get the whole zen part of it and you see they got the cactus here and you know kind of like with the with these wires to keep keep it from leaning um by the way stuff like this cactus and you know it, it these things need very little water so they the sun the sun that, that comes down is usually good enough and you know it's very easy to take care of so you know pretty much anybody could take care of this because it kind of takes care of itself what i'm saying is confusing because this is a lot of space and maybe the walkway could have went you know all the way uh at least to here where you could like put put some seats or something like that i mean you have this up here where you can appreciate it but to have you know your water feature you know it's kind of it would kind of be nice just 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 you know my opinion but you know you could put fish in here and and I probably wouldn't feel the the way I do, materials but like the rocks, cactus trees on each side of the that would have been my reflection preference. pool. Again, phenomenal view, amazing space, and like I mentioned earlier, this house has three pools. This happens to be one of them. Now, so I the take reflection pool is not something you would swim in. It is literally just water you're supposed to open, stare at. And this is technically the main entry of this home. On my right hand side, we have a small walkway that goes to the back side of the property steel staircase that goes up to the second floor and the third floor of this home beautiful modern design with acrylic steps this looks stunning and again we will talk more about these architectural details as we tour the home now as soon as you walk in the first room you see in front of you is the great room i said great room because this space is all open it's yeah kind of i like light. this and i like we only have all the automatic sliding glass doors opened up tucked into the walls where you can appreciate these views even more i mean we have the entire las vegas trip right in front of us yeah and since we're so high i guess up, this that's a good space, view well, especially when the when the lights are on quiet, which is amazing we have it, another it'll, it looks i'm sure it looks nice right in front of us and we're going to talk about this backyard and the whole setting in a bit there are a lot of details there to cover but first i want to focus on this seating section here again it's all open we have a ceiling mount tv on this side which looks like it's literally floating and it's actually right in front of the reflection pool that we saw off of the entry they even put a sliding glass door right behind the tv okay that tucks into i can the wall, understand so it now kind of hear the water feature water running right behind your tv Again, also allows that I still would have liked the walkway to go Seating where you can like sit right there, but the and I'm Mikey, I can can understand that for a you know this having it in the background, opening up uh, with that window pool. there, just that it, it does up to that other does section, which we're gonna talk nice. About. I get I get why this they did it. This house is just so crazy with all these sliding glass doors opening up. It's all kind of connected, so but at the same time they all that pool is the in the house. It's almost overwhelming to explain, but space is phenomenal yeah i think you know that i love swimming and uh <laughs> we got a lot of pools to choose from here literally you can go to your kitchen jump in a pool yeah that's kind of insane another pool and then the backyard has another pool which yes. i'll see in a second insane right yeah that is insane Mikey, let's show this walkway for it's a, a kind of a little close to the bit, kitchen for, you for have me a walkway from your great room that takes you 
either to your backyard or get that smell of chlorine why why you're over there making making your bacon you can see the it's got to be nice better. we're going to cover that in a bit as well and they accomplished this open concept by putting a lot of steel elements like the one right above us which is this massive i-beam that allows this house to be all open overall beautiful modern lines i love the polished concrete floors and i say I some love of this stuff is like because it's clear this is a showpiece and less on functionality because functionally wise you know you wouldn't want someone because this is this is concrete right this is concrete you wouldn't want someone coming out of the pool and going straight into here you know you definitely aren't gonna have like a party with little kids and stuff like that because some of those little kids are gonna you know not only potentially fall but they're gonna be over the furniture and you know this, this furniture looks expensive like this doesn't look like any cheap you know run-of-the-mill furniture but again um, I know I'm over here talking about, you know, functionality. This is a show. This is a showpiece. This is a trophy property. This is a petitier if there was one in, in Vegas. And this fits, this fits the bill of that. This is really not big on the, uh, the norm uh, of everyday life. This is not for, for an everyday person. This is, this is someone wanting to show off their money show off their money you know show them th that they have it this is not for m like a person like me like even though i may never be able to afford a 25 million well now it's on, on it's available at 34 million i may never be able to afford something like this but maybe one day i don't know i'm you know i, I obviously I, i'm not gonna say i will never this is why i use the word may I may, right? Never, but it is po It's not impossible. It is possible. I don't know where it's gonna come from, but <laughs> maybe, maybe one of one of you, you viewers, maybe you know, you might, you might see something in me, and and, and you might be like, hey, man, let, let's let let's. I have this, you know, proposition, you know, where we can make a lot of money, and I'm like, hey, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm open. To, I'm open for ideas. I'm open for business. Like we can all, we can all win. Okay, we can all win. But for me, I would take my 25, 35 million to 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 somewhere else. Uh, unless I'm in the petitier type of market, but to like to live in, no. But petitier wise, heck yeah. I'm, you know, if I was a, a, a single young, uh, you know, hundred millionaire, billionaire, and I just wanted to have these amazing parties and invite people and do, you know, all sorts of weird, wild things. This is the, this is the place for that. I mean, you know, there's a reason why this place is now available for sale after only, you know, a couple years. Think that that think about it, but you can yeah, go whatever direction I like it. I would keep you this closed off though. Space very sleek I would definitely keep this closed off. Modern clean look, or you can easily put a lot of furniture and art. Because I don't want anyone running in, in you know, in the kitchen, living room area, which is awesome. Yeah. Now, after getting in the that's pool, kind of it for the great room. I mean, there are and you know, so when you have a party like and stuff like that, someone's going to push somebody in the pool. Someone's going to get be drunk and then possibly fall in the pool. So having to close off is ideal. And look at the sky from your great room. Overall, phenomenal space flows directly in your kitchen. Now, there are a lot of unique details in this kitchen that I want to cover. Very minimalist. Everything is nicely paneled in. We have travertine. I love this kitchen for the most part. We have this third island here that are three islands. I definitely, I'm and a I big fan talk of travertine. About a very subtle detail here. Mikey, you see this subtle V shape? Yeah. Steel panel. We actually already saw quite a bit of these subtle V details throughout the property. Remember the exterior kind of walkway where we have the water feature floating into that first reflection pole? Yeah. Nice. The water feature was shaped in V. If you look at the exterior of the home, a lot of the small exterior walls are connected with these steel V panels. And Why? we're going to see a lot more of them throughout. So I love that subtle detail. This island is clad with oh, walnut okay. I thought maybe he was going to give a reason scenes, why. They run this brass detail that looks really cool. So Even snap these bar stools matchbook. are made out of steel. Again, they use a lot of steel throughout the property. Mikey, let's check out the second island. Now, this is really interesting. Travertine countertops. They did a steel waterfall edge on each side. 
And on this one, they integrated these massive, I'm going to call them iPads or the screens, where you can actually go on the internet, uh, get on Pinterest if you're looking for a recipe, listening to podcasts, you can do whatever you want. It's a cool feature, so I wanted to mention that. This home is wired with Savant Home Automation System. So throughout the homes, you guys are going to see these small iPads or the screens on the walls where you can control your shades, automatic windows, all the features that come nice. the house. Nice. Okay, so that's what that. it looks like closed. Yeah, I would, I would definitely kitchen, have, have, have that details. wall closed off from, these from the pool. exterior walkways, we saw these plants with gravels right next to the paths, right? They also brought that's these really, details. That's really good the about the house. Of the home. Even though, and like, I don't think that's the best setup to have the pool so close to the kitchen. You can close it off and then now you can just look at it. Paid attention to their exterior lighting, especially plant lighting. So it is well thought out. I think lighting throughout the whole house. Even though we haven't seen it at night yet. I'm not the biggest fan of that concept. Orange lights, white lights and kind of more bluish lights. So to set a different mood within the room. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm really excited to see it at night. But it is kind of, you know, when you think about it, it is kind of sexy, though, if you just of them because this house got a you know, all right. Main island, Your, we have same travel uh, countertops here, beautifully person of interest design. And let's you know, see, we have a that you're, you're you know, you're just trying to have a nice that romantic, sexy look. time with. And right behind me, we have more this house is cabinets, real sexy, same walnut cabinetry, two wolf ovens, wolf induction cooktops here with griddle, super sexy house, traveling countertops. And here's another detail I'd like to talk about here. So, we saw a lot of steel details throughout so far, and they have another one right here. They clad this upper section, put a mirror in front of it. To I was going to say, is that a mirror right behind us? And to go it with is. that minimalist look, they actually tucked in the kitchen vent inside of this assembly. So you get this clean look, but yet you get the functionality as well. And on top of that, they have a glass backsplash because as I'm looking or as I'm cooking here, I literally see the Las Vegas strip right behind me, which is just mind boggling. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. Incredible. Mikey, let's focus on this side for a second. We have an espresso maker, microwave, and paneled in freezer and fridge. Again, looks very seamless. Fingerprint. Overall, this is a great kitchen. Nightmare. I, mean, I want to keep talking. Look, about I it, see fingerprints on, on there. We have <laughs> like, it's so here. many fingerprints the on there. Area. Fingerprint nightmare. In a bit. But first, looks nice, but it's a fingerprint nightmare. So right next to the cooktops. We have a secondary opening that takes you There's to the, the chef's kitchen. That's the right this kitchen. Chef's kitchen because everything the way need. I'm thinking Starting is that, you know, like if you really there. cook, you're Same. gonna have stuff nice pop. Countertops. Also and it's gonna go backsplash. against that uh, inch mirror. Gas, and then that's gonna have to get clean, cleaned. But I mean, when you live this kind of lifestyle, you're, you're gonna have details. someone to come clean uh, the house well. regularly. So and I like how they did a half. I guess it's not not a big deal. I need to stop thinking like like bigger, me, and I need to start thinking like like you, from this side of the right? Room. I need to start thinking like Lastly, one of you more things. that that are Countertop have multi millions and just live that amazing lifestyle. Second time we're seeing this detail, so we appreciate that. So let me know. Yeah, I got I got to put my multi millionaire hat on. Have these pop up. Plugs that are nice. Fake it till I make it. The countertops. It's okay, very on nice. On this side, we have some microwaves here. Ready, Mikey? Warming drawer number one. Warming drawer number two. Very nice. What's in the middle? So the, the main cabinet. kitchen drawer, regular drawer mm -hmm. is cool. induction. And on this side, we have a built-in fridge, electric and freezer, and this door may look like another fridge in, or freezer door. In that the chef's kitchen, the small pantry. They wanted to go gas. with that kind of a door gas kind of range the design. Overall. Great space that complements the main kitchen. And now we're in this kind of a back hallway. First, I want to take everybody on this side. Right behind me, we have the elevator access on this level. That's the first reflection pool that we saw off of the entry. They even put a sliding glass door here so you can actually hear the water going down to another reflection pool. Look at the window assembly here. This is insane. I mean, this house is so architecturally unique and different. And Mikey, I need you to turn around to the other side for a second. I forgot about this when we were at the entry. You see this kind of a blue crystal walkway or this uh, landscaping design? Yeah. They have this at the entry of the house and at the backyard as well. And it's perfectly straight. I was going to ask that because uh, I saw it in the backyard nice. on the second floor. Uh, and I noticed it here. Yes. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's a perfectly straight line throughout the house. It actually picks the same line down at the backyard. How crazy is that? That yeah. is very crazy. Talking about nailing these details are not easy at all, but they did a great job. I mean, I got to give credit to Blue Heron for thinking about all these intricate details and actually making them work, which is not easy. 
Now, we have this opening here that takes us to the laundry room. This is without a doubt one of the most kind of entertaining and different laundry rooms we've ever seen because it has a bunch of seating areas. It's all open, gets a ton of natural light. Without a doubt, it's one of the best lit laundry rooms we've ever toured on this channel. This this is a laundry room. Yeah, it looks like a nice office or a seating area. Yeah, I thought this was maybe like a second. He sat down on Mike, one of the last videos talking about this, the laundry room. Uh, sliding. It's one of the best lit laundry rooms we've ever toured on this channel. This this is a laundry room. Yeah, Enos it looks like loves a nice laundry rooms. Or a seating area. Yeah, this is insane. Like, I feel like it's an experience to do laundry here. I thought this was maybe like a secondary dining room. Mikey, let's make it clear by first opening this uh, sliding glass door. This is where you this have your This is the washing. best laundry yeah, room that, uh, that, that I've ever yeah. seen. So that's that. You got the seating section, a lot of like, these cabinets. This is, this, sliding glass the seating area is intended for, for the staff. Backyard so, space that we're gonna see in a bit. Right around the corner, we got a doggy wash. You know, it's intended, it's intended, it's intended for, for our staff pool that we saw at the because entry. we don't wash our clothes. We have too much money a, to wash our clothes. Kind of a half sliding window I don't think I'll ever have enough money to, to not wash side, my own clothes. Opening up the laundry room to the outdoors so you can have all this fresh air and natural light come in. Desk set up here. This is crazy. Yeah, it's really nice. And I got to say, Except guys, dry cleaning, uh, obviously. We are you in know, Las Vegas. Gotta, gotta, it's very bright outside. Gotta so, have your dry cleaner. This talks about the outside. I try to get my camera to... But I have someone drop it off. Stuff. I won't be dropping off my own so laundry give Mike a little anymore. Slack there. Yeah. But yeah. Also, a lot of you are probably wondering at this point, where is the garage of this home? Well, yes. it's normally here, but since this is a show home for Blue Heron, they actually currently have it staged as an office setup for them because they have a lot of people working in there. But that garage setup can accommodate 5 to 11 cars, depending on how you reconfigurate uh, this home. Yeah. Now... We're back into the hallway. You may think that I'm going to go this side, but not. Mikey, come to this section for a second. Look at this steel. So this was their crown jewel. Door that opens up to arguably most unique powder room we've ever that seen. That is super sexy. See, Actually, like this is like the club. The ceiling heights in this room is 30 feet, which is insane. That's a skylight 30 foot above us with plastered stucco walls. Without a doubt, this is one of the most unique powder rooms we've ever seen on this channel we have a just say sexy enos come on brother design here out of the same meta quartzite that we've been seeing throughout this is sexy in case you're wondering where is the faucet it's actually here that's the knob and uh i was gonna say you know i'm gonna ask you to turn that on and then you have this floating mirror design this that is, is without a doubt the house's architecture wow. and its finishes really sets itself apart from a lot of the moderns that honestly we've ever toured now Let's take everybody back to this hallway. Ready? Another unique room set up here. Wine room. Now, it's like this long walkway. It's all enclosed in glass so you can see it from your dining area. And I love these ceiling mounts. It's nice. That we have with LED lighting. Mikey, we need a close up here. I talked about this V-shaped Oh, steel crap. Details, so, right? so it's just a the wall. Shape, uh, shape the one wall. Shelves. And then the other one is a mirror. I thought it was like, like on, on two sides, but it's just like a, a mirror. They paid attention to their details and uniformity of the home. Yeah. Exterior door here. This is another signature blue hair and detail. They have these curved stucco walls with this kind of unique pattern. Uh, we're going to see that a lot throughout. And following this hallway, even on, it's on this that's wall. That's the kitchen and a great room, by the way. Right the wall that he, he's walking the against, and then the best area, wall. And... Just like the rest of the common spaces so. in this house. It's all yeah. open, walls of glass that takes you straight to the outdoors. Beautiful table set up here that says 10 people. And right on top of the table set up, we have this stunning, modern, kind of futuristic dining room light detail that I had to point out because it's so unique. Now, Mikey, let's check out some outdoor spaces. This whole dining room area opens up to the outdoors. Wrapping around in this covered section, we got a small outdoor kitchen here, barbecue setup with a sink. Small fridge and your Wolf Gas barbecue. This section is also closed, makes it a nice shaded area. We can see some of the industrial or the structural details of this home with these steel columns. More on this side, and you kind of have a small patio space here. On the right hand side, we have the laundry room. It's nice that they've fenced this section with these tall walls, so it's super private. You don't see anybody from the street side. Nicely landscaped, overall great spot. Yeah. Now, I want to take everybody back inside. This is another challenging thing about this home. There are a lot of bathrooms throughout, but it's so seamlessly integrated into the walls. It's almost hard to find them or you almost forget about them, but 
This door opens up to a powder room for this section. Same polished concrete floors. Are this is the most here. normal setup. thing. Glass tile back wall. We've Put seen in this house so far. Bring in a nice little unique detail. They have a green section here that brings that pop of color. All right, let's close this and continuing on this side, we have this bar section nice, here. Nice, but I don't think the green really matched the anything. Den. They could have just now went with the den, and I'm gonna explain maybe why wood that is in a bit. But first, panel art, even, even, even just here. a regular uh, slate cement. With this beautiful walnut threads. But bar you know. section on this side that has this high countertop and we have so nice. built-ins here and let's see. I guess. I think this is a cabinet. I was so this is the bar, yo. This is the bar by the pool, right? Here. I know we have an ice maker somewhere. There are so many details in uh, appliances. That's the trash. I think it's to your right. I think it's by the... Uh... There we go. There you go. My bad. I know my ice I maker. I really so... tried and I wanted to make sure we showed the ice maker. It's important to us. Yeah. But Why? An overall, great bar. No, no, with a no, sink, I'm, I'm kidding. Elevation, I'm kidding. Even a microwave. Enos, Enos is the king of around, details. This is the second pool off of the great room that we talked about earlier. It's crazy because this house is so open that it feels super integrated and connected. But yet, each one of these Telling spaces you, you, you can easily divide with these automatic sliding it's glass It's like doors. that, and that's a soaking pool. Tracks. Like the soaking pool Even is not really intended for like you know swimming as you can. Course. Like if you so look you get at the it, seamless look. But yet you can close this section, you can close your dining it's meant, room. It's meant for some very just leave it open uh, like this. Enjoy your pool. adult things. Just the sound of it alone is so cool. Yeah, and all of this is controlled on those iPads on the wall or a mobile app. I really, uh, really hope that the, the smell of chlorine yeah, so isn't strong. I was going to say that when we went out to that last patio. I, mean, um, I feel like we're not talking about these. But I, I have a feeling that the, there's... Room. It's all open, Mikey. The it's ventilation yeah. exactly. in, in this house Let's focus uh, on this side. Is, is, and a half you know, LED screen on a different a level and we have to say of that extreme. A TV that is not a projector. No, that's a TV. When it comes to, you know, diffusing. What else? I mean... I'm overwhelmed. There are so you know, many details. Certain of things in the air. To the outdoors. Talk about the spot carrot. We're here in Vegas, so it's a little sunny. So I'm going to put my glasses on. We have another sliding glass door here that takes you to the outdoors. And just like the patterns that we've been seeing on the inside of the home, they have these walkways with gravels and rocks. Again, with materials all sourced from Nevada. On this side, we have our main outdoor barbecue area, bar setup. Mikey, let's cover some of the details here. Heck we yeah. have a massive wolf gas grill, your stove setup, four outdoor TVs, race spa right next to your bar. And I mean, you have small fridges here, warming drawers, sink, everything you need. What about the and ice maker, Enos? On the other side. Now, wrapping There's around- There's no ice maker. Studio, I'm almost like, it's, I don't even know where I It's important to go. us. There's so many de details I wanna cover. So that's the great room, all open. And that's the steel staircase that goes up to the deck on the second floor. Right underneath that, we have an outdoor space. Let's cover that, Mikey. Now, this is the pool I Super would use. Cozy. That, that main pool, that's right the pool I would use. Great room. We got an outdoor dining area here, another seating section with a fire pit, four TV walls, space heaters above us, and there are a ton of fire pits and fire features throughout the property. At night, it looks even better. So we're gonna see that later in the video. Overall, this is a great section that really complements the great room and the backyard. And right next to this area, we can actually see this above ground pool, which is insane with the infinity edge. And it just basically cascade over this wall. So it serves as a water feature as well. Look at the views in front of us. I hope I keep mentioning views throughout because it's breathtaking, it's insane. And this view at night, in my opinion, looks even better. Now let's go back to this side where we have the outdoor bar. And following this walkway, Mikey, let's take everybody to the views for a second. I mean, the views from this point is simply incredible. We have the mountains on the back, strip right in front of us. It's crazy to me that a city like Las Vegas exists because it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. But look at the scenery here, this whole establishment and the look city. Look at the scenery of that brand new construction that's going on right there in front of you. That's the, your new neighbor that you're going to be looking down upon. And they're going to be looking up at you. Gotta love that. But no, this, this, this is probably another build from the uh, developer of, of this one. Homes. I mean, uh, uh, Blue Heron. One of the biggest travel destinations. And I'm sure it's, it'll be another another world, nice one. In the middle of a desert. And and, oh, yeah, it, they're probably like, that could be a reason why the people are selling it. It's like it's cool. you try to and enjoy it, and they're over there, you know, home. building this, this other property. Right, we're in, right next to that pool that we saw earlier. More outdoor lounging areas. By the way, that's the reflection pool that we saw off of the entry, wrapping around the primary. Wait, bedroom, is that like a direct neighbor right there? Hold, hold. But I want outdoor lounging area. 
or is this yeah this is an this is another neighborhood because this house is like it has a totally different shape and vibe than than this house Yes, by the way, that's the reflection pool that we saw off of the entry wrapping around the primary bedroom, which we're going to check out in a bit. But I want to take everybody towards the lower or the bottom part of this backyard, more outdoor seating. So your neighbor, you know, direction. they'll see your sexy party. They have a lot of concrete patio sections, but they also so have this probably awesome grass section at the bottom probably of the backyard. Probably won't be doing and talking as about much the blue sexy stuff that we saw at the entry. They have it also here. <laughs> it's that perfect straight line. As I, as now, I Michael, thought, let's talk about um, this house's architecture from the backyard my hat gonna have to, you're gonna have to get some mature some trees though, over there that kind, kind of block block off their the vision stick in the modern lines of this home with this butterfly roof design on the right and left hand side we can see these oh my gosh this is so much more massive than the one next door details exposed steel throughout with the staircase beams and columns and i really like how they used some of the materials that are native to nevada to design this home and really blend in with the landscaping of this neighborhood and that's pretty much it for the backyard and most of the first floor but i want to take everybody back to the entry so we can check out the primary bedroom suite yes let's let me be blown it away by the amazing detail. We're back at the reflecting pool, looking at the amazing views. And like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, you can close off this section. There's a track right here. There's a track on the back side. And following this walkway, it takes us to the primary bedroom suite. I love the stucco walls. And again, meta quartzite throughout. And we're at this covered entry. I say covered because we have a skylight above us. And this sliding glass door tucks into the wall and opens up to the primary bedroom suite. Beautiful walkway with LED lighting on one side and plant lighting on the other. Walnut panels, and it takes us straight to the view and where we have the bedroom. This part of the bedroom is lowered, so it's below the reflecting pool. White plank brushed oak hardwood floors throughout. This is definitely the space. We have this built -in not bed a setup house here, king size bed with a little for bit of you to have, like if you have right small children, because those rocks setup, are going to be everywhere. Walls. Of course, your views but you are know, phenomenal. And I love that my, my this butler section is a little bit lower, so you robot. kind of take advantage of the reflecting pool. It's going to keep the rocks in, intact for us. So. All you see is this it's water fine. or the glass of water and the incredible views. This is phenomenal. And of course, to bring some privacy to the space, we have automatic now, shades I and in case am you're surprised you're like, NS, what if I want to watch the TV? These windows the TV right in front of the bed setup are not so motorized, button, so you can just all the way go up, right into the right pool. In front of you with a push of a button, it goes down. Overall, great primary bedroom, and there are two more details I want to talk very, about here. Number one, very you nice. Have the same rock kind of reveal details throughout. Still staircase. Not a big thread. fan of you know the steps. Let's get a close up here. They kind of have this. Would have preferred it to just all been been one level. So at night or like. But I get what they're going for. You can charge your phone here. Um, I have a plug. I don't know if you're on your computer. It's a nice little yeah. detail. I always love those kinds of beds also. With the built-in storage and all that? Yeah. I get that. All right, right behind the bedroom setup, we kind of have the seating section. We have some built-ins here, and check this out. This one is actually the second pop-up TV that the primary bedroom has. So in case you want to watch some TV here, you can do that. Talking about the so indoor you can only have floor, one we size have TV. You can't have an, uh, any, any different again, size. Opening up to this atrium. We're going to check that atrium in a bit, but first I want to take everybody Which is okay, I to guess. the side to talk about the bathroom and the closet space. Mikey, look at this room. So there's two bathtubs. There's the here. bathtub because that's in there in, in, in the bathroom. A, uh, I guess because I'm taking it. This is I the whole bathroom. I want you to go in there. It's two and types then for both of us. There's one but outside. From your toilet setup, you take advantage of the amazing views and it's actually smoked. So you don't see it from the outside, but you see the views from the inside. Nice little detail. Nicely packed in here, paneled in. Let's talk about this shower design. This is stunning. It's all enclosed with glass. This is probably one of the most unique rainhead uh, floor mount shower designs we've ever seen. It looks very sleek. Same stone that we've been seeing throughout. They also brought it here. And in case this is not good enough, right above you we have a, a rainhead as usual. This is also a steam shower with some open shelving here. And First, I thought this was some sort of a, just a bench design for the walk-in shower, but, and I realized, I found this detail. Check this out. It had a drawer. I was like, maybe there's some controls for the fixtures. Ready, Mikey? Is that a warming drawer? Yeah, for, for your towels. towels. Okay. And I like how you said that if that's not good enough, you have a rain head. 
But if that shower is not good enough. Oh yeah, I mean, we're gonna check that out in a bit. Yeah. We got a lot more to see. Freestanding tub right in the center of the primary bathroom. They went with the- And the espresso here, maker. Nice okay, okay. Again, mount fixture. Yeah. And right behind me, we have a ton of cabinetry. Cappuccino machine, one, I love it. I love it. Actually, let me tuck this in. It's one of these door designs that we like. Oh wow, that is, that is very nice. Look at this. For your primary bathroom, you get a sink design here. Dishwasher. A dishwasher. Some cabinets, same travertine countertops that we saw at the kitchen. They also use it here. Purple monkey dishwasher. Small fridge, warming drawer. It's like a hotel, a baby. Maker, all for your primary bedroom. It's amazing. Now this section is all open and we're gonna come to that in a bit. But first I wanna take everybody and check out the closet for the primary bedroom. It's all open. We have these kind of paneled in wardrobes right in the center of this primary closet. More drawers Excellent. on this side, also serving as this white countertop space. All these doors are nicely paneled in and I gotta show this one. This one actually have an access to a panic room. We'll leave that private for now, but uh, you have it if you need to. Mm -hmm. And uh, going here, back side of the wardrobes are all open with the hangers, kind of racks, anything you need. More base cabinets on this side and this is kind of the second part of the primary closet. I love this linear skylight design that they have. Brings natural light to the space, island in the center. Overall, great closet space. Found a natural light coming in. This is pretty awesome. More base cabinets on this side. And now let's talk about I like the, the remaining setup of this part primary. of the primary bathroom. Now, Mikey, let's focus on there this goes side that outdoor where we have the double vanity top. setup. Beautiful travertine countertops with the waterfall edge, two sinks. We always appreciate these countertop mount uh, fixture handles. They're brushed nickel. And we got this gorgeous floating mirror design that's right in front of us. And in case you're wondering, you're like, Ennis, you're looking at a great view and that mirror is right in front of you. But with a push of a button, you can actually tuck it I'm all the, great the way to view. the ceiling and have this bathroom fully open. And I say fully open because we actually have a corner glass detail right here. That's automatic. It's currently open and it takes you straight to the outside where we have this atrium for the primary bedroom suite or the primary bathroom suite. Walkway takes you all the way to the view, but more importantly, right above me, we have two rain heads. So in case you want to shower outside rather than inside, you can easily do that. And I think this is awesome. Yeah, that's what I was talking Heck about yeah. earlier in the other bathroom. If you don't want to use that shower, not in the other bathroom, in the other shower, if you don't want to use that one, you can use this one. Absolutely. We can actually see all the handles here. Another freestanding tub on the outside. So in case you want to just soak up here, look at the views, you can easily do that. Now, following this walkway, we have the opening here again from the primary bedroom seating area. And as we continue, more of these core 10 steel planters. Side of the property has a little bit of an outdoor space. Seating outdoor section. Furniture. We yep. always love these details. Rain chains instead of gutters to give that mid-century modern look. And this walkway takes you to your backyard and the views. This is amazing. We have the reflection pool right in front of us. Without a doubt, the first floor of this property is really impressive, and that's pretty much it on this level. Now let's go back inside, take the stairs, and check out the second floor. It just looks so deserted, like it's... <laughs> All right, everyone, here we are yeah. at the second floor landing. We have the staircase going up to the third floor, which we're gonna check out in a bit. On my left-hand side, we have the, the elevator, elevator access for this level. And following this long walkway, we have stucco walls on my left-hand side, glass panels on the bottom with LED lighting. And this bridge takes us straight to the Sky Suite, which is one of the most impressive bedrooms in this house. It starts right here with this glass How door. How do you turn it and from we have one this bedroom to the other? That connects you from the hallway to the bedroom. It's all glass. You can actually see one of the main pools right below us. It's kind of a cool setup. And going through this opening, we go straight into the seating area of this bedroom. Nice and open. Wow, this beautiful is couch a setup huge. Here, facing the incredible views. And I know I talked about this at the backyard. This house has a butterfly roof line, and we can actually see that sloping roof line a little bit clearer in this bedroom. And in case you want to watch a TV, we have this set up right in front of us with a push of a button. This one actually tilts and opens up. And right underneath this coffee table, we actually have a TV set up, which is awesome. Yeah, a lot of cool uh, unfolding TVs here. A lot of cool gadgets too, right? All right, let's look at this section for a second. We have an outdoor seating area opening up from the Sky Suite as well as the loft space. I guess we'll check out this section in a bit. I want to kind of focus in this bedroom. Mikey, we've been talking about the gravel or like these rock reveal details throughout. 
They have it also here. They have plants inside and they even have landscaping lighting for the plants. I mean, talking about attention to detail here. Once again, I bet this is gonna look really cool at night. I bet, I bet. Yeah, I think so Automatic too. shades throughout and we have the bedroom set up Look at all that dirt. This is automatic. Dirt you're looking at outside your- We actually have your... a curtain set up that kind of separates- 34 million dollars. For the bedroom set up here. Padded Sexy back mansion. Wall, walnut panels right behind the bed set up. And I mean, laying down on this bed, looking at the view of Las Vegas and the strip. This is special. Yeah. All right. This bedroom kind of has its own private balcony setup. And one of my favorite details about this home is actually located right here. This massive opening. It almost creates this wind tunnel that goes through the house, creates that nice breeze. And it's just this awesome architectural kind of frame that I think looks very unique, both from the outside and the inside. This section is all covered, opens up to the bathroom, which we're gonna see in a bit. It's almost but like a here, second two outdoor showers with primary, above us. like stunning. I feel like I'm, I want to talk about all like the Like this does feel like a so second primary. This is just. Now, right here we have the bathroom. Yeah, that the tub, table. yeah. Kind of natural light coming in. Another steam shower. Yeah, this is literally like, like a second primary. It opens up to the balcony that we just saw. This massive like, triangle shape. I'm claiming both of those rooms as mine. Here with a floor and depending on how I'm feeling. And going to this side. What kind of vibe I'm going for. We have. We either on we either on the second floor the or we on the first floor. Book match, brush nickel finishes with the body sprays, rain heads, open shelving, and we even have towel racks here that are heated. Now at the side we have the vanity set up here, two sinks, and Mikey, we gotta take everybody to this section. First off, another one of these concealed doors where we have the water closet. And you got a makeup section here. And this closet kind of keeps giving. We have a Fridge here, small sink. And do my laundry dryer, right there. Yeah, yeah, bedroom. this is literally a Wrapping second primary. Up, we have more built-in cabinets. Overall, great bedroom suite. I love that closet. Is with nice. a better bathtub. This, the like dryer. the bad, nice this, that bathtub, that tub, it's better like than this, what's downstairs. This guy's suite can easily qualify as one of the primary bedrooms. It's a little bit more elevated. Tiny bit smaller than the main bedroom that we saw on the lower level. But overall, another great bedroom. It has two outdoor now, spaces. Outdoor space on our left-hand side, but I want to like, take everybody back to the main walkway where we came this up. This is what I like. like uh, on for my me, I would, side, we can see the great room. I'm and claiming the both. Section. Again, the <laughs> second floor of this home is all open, and even the ceilings here, Mikey, it's all stucco. It's crazy. So you get that. I get why the first floor one they wanted the it that to be the primary now, because it had opens up, like the overlook floor, they of the, this oak, the pool. So there's out. water. You get this built-in you know, seating section. You're not going to get an ocean view. And I just so realized they carried out the same hardwood floors. I get it. As a back, but the second back floor, the well. second floor is just. You have your loft bar. I say loft they because I think they could have just went with that and kept it simple. Technically, your great room. But you get the seating section. Talking about those V shapes it's all good, with the you steel know? panels, they have it also here and the brass inlays. But this middle section we can of this, this bar place. is actually we, we, you know, a like, wrapped sweet. letter. Feels very exquisite. And right behind me, we have a okay. kind of a bar wall with TVs recessed in, open shelving. We buy places like this and all the time. Let's see, we got a fridge. I'm trying to see, I think this is a base cabinet. There you go, ice maker, small sink, open shelving. Great addition, and I like that brass detail or the reveal detail that they have kind of around the cabinetry here. Michael, let's focus to the views for a second. It's incredible from the second floor views, a tiny bit more elevated. Again, we have the Las Vegas views, the strip views right in front of us. And this loft section continues. They place the pool table here. Before we leave this side, I want to show this. Another one of these concealed doors that goes into a powder room for this level or the loft space. Beautiful vanity design, clad with stone, and the back walls, everything, even the mirror design has these industrial lines. Right behind, we have the water closet. Great bathroom located in a convenient spot. Now, we got another bedroom on this level, but first, let's take everybody to the outdoors. Again, I'm going to put my glasses on because this it's is pretty 100%. Bright out there. The Talking about some of those party rustic house. industrial elements, we have the steel panels below us. And this is the deck space you get on the second floor, complementing the sky suite and the loft space. You have the fire pit right in the center, some outdoor seating. Again, I feel like I've reset views a thousand times, but how do I not talk about it? This is all I see as I walk in or oh, throughout the property. Oh, I see it's dirty. Yeah, it's really incredible. Incredible. And Mikey, I know we talked about this. This is the <laughs> cantilevered exterior staircase 
that we saw from the backyard. I mean, just walking to the edge. Like looking at I these see views, dirt. I such see such a unique uh, architectural detail of this home. More construction sure. taking right, place. Let's take everybody back in. We have another bedroom to see on this level. Let's check that out real quick. And it's located right behind the loft bar. It starts on this side. It's super warm and spacious here. Again, ton of natural light coming into the bedroom. Best set up on this side. We have the TV, stucco walls, and it has this full open bathroom design. I say open, now that but is, that's definitely right around the here, guest another room. concealed door, we actually have the guest, water closet. Uh, guest so room. The closet is a little closed, but the vanity design, the back walls, walk-in shower, it's all open, beautiful stone floors. And Mikey, can we take everybody to the outside for a second? If you don't want to shower indoors, right behind that walk-in shower, you can actually shower outdoors. We're seeing a lot of these. A lot of these. It's Vegas, Mikey. I didn't even realize this one was there. Uh, but yeah, that's really cool. Super cool, Sorry. right? Overall, great bedroom and great bathroom. And taking everybody back to the bedroom, let's take a look at the patio space dedicated to this bedroom. Starts right here, another fire pit. Massive oval skylight right above us. It's not actually a skylight, it's an opening that allows natural light to come in. That's an oval? And more it looks of like these a, amazing Can't really piece. tell. And that's pretty much it for from the, the way second it looks, floor. It looks now like let's a go circle, back inside, take the stairs, and check probably, out the third floor. It, I, I wouldn't doubt, doubt Enos. He's the king of detail, so if he says it's an oval, it's an oval. All right, everyone, here we are at the third floor, which is where we have the Sky Lounge. Now, before I talk about the space, I want to turn back and cover this. I don't understand design. how do you can converge from light. three and to right five bedrooms. Top, they have this thermally I, I, that one, that one I, I that still don't understand. We did see three, three bedrooms already. And my assumption <clears> is it's thermally modified because the heat and sun in Vegas is kind of harsh. So it needs to withstand that. Yeah, I could imagine a normal wood getting maybe just super dry in the sun or something. Maybe cracking. Yeah. Definitely. All right. The first door right next to us in the opens sky up lounge. to a full bathroom. Now, this bathroom design is very unique. We have all these rain heads on this side, and this glass panel is reflected from the other side, meaning if you're in the sky lounge, you cannot actually see through the bathroom, but yet once you're inside, you can actually see the views, which is super cool. And I know what Mikey is thinking. He's like, and it's can we turn on the rain heads? And the answer is Man. no, because if we turn them on, it's gonna splash. It's what gonna I'm thinking My is, is there a switch to this make time, it you tra to translucent on heads. both sides? Cause right next you know, to that, we got this gorgeous marble pedestal. Sexy party, scene. right? That looks stunning. And in here, I know I'm not the only one thinking sexy party. We have this door opening up to a powder room that is nicely hidden. Now let's get like you're out. in the lounge, you know, you know the, we're back at the, the landing of the third floor. People are showering and we have the sky lounge yeah. right in front of us. Think about this space. Am I weird for thinking that? little nightclub or a lounge <laughs> or a bar that you have within your home. It's on the third floor. So it's nicely kind of detached from the rest of the floors. All opened up towards the amazing views. Beautiful ceiling that continues all the way to the outdoors. Look, it's the, there, there's the mirror right in the center. The big mirror sticking right out of section, where the showers are. Awesome but man, there better the be a switch to dual elevation. Even the stone. I'm getting, the I'm getting a different, different one it installed. We're gonna see it on the floor. Make it flip like a switch, baby. Strips, nicely recessed into the floors, making that stone pop a little bit more. And wrapping around, we have the bar section here. A lot of amenities. I mean, I'm gonna show as much as I could, but dishwasher, ice maker. We got. Everything here, cabinets, there you go. This is another, I think this is a fridge. Another fridge. Every single one of these bars, you know, you get Up everything there you watching, need. watching the, is watching the game at my own bar. Angle. That, but they also that actually is, is, I like side, that. I like that like idea. I like that idea so much. One thing you have to I like that. I, that idea is amazing. You, you know, I'll come, I'll come hire one of you guys to come be a guest bartender. Unless you want to come do it for free. Okay. Look at the walls. Oh, wow. Okay, I did not see the space. Yeah. It's all padded with this really unique wool design, I guess. But it's like a fur yeah. almost. You guys, Super you know, cool. come guess I mean, bartend like, in my house. Las Vegas, so I actually want to do that. Uh, I'm, like I'm, ser I'm serious about that too. Entertainment, I guess. That's when true. when, sure when the time comes, I'm going to come also, looking for this you. Open shelving here. So cool, right? Come this be a guest bartender at my house. LED lighting from the floors. 
Everything you know, only if you're not, so old, decked you know, now, weird. We kind of forgot this, not forgot this. You know, but maybe being weird might be a requirement. Corner. I don't know. By the way, this is the reflective glass wall that I was talking about that clads that bathroom. You have an additional seating area on this side. And Mikey, I don't know if your camera can show from this angle. Yeah, they I'm telling you, this is, this. Back. like I said, Such this house view. So is not for and you can also anyone, see the you know, with a family. This, home or this is the for... And it's all clad with these solar panels. This home actually has someone solar who and how has a ton of money itself if it that wants to show it off. This is this is showing off your here, well, money. I they have some built-in batteries for the home. And so you when you really are there at this house, all you have the sickest, all open, sickest party to the outdoors. That, of course, nobody will talk about deck. because what happens in this Vegas stays in Vegas. Well, technically, yeah, this is Henderson, so that rule pits, really doesn't apply. Elevated seating section but on this side. And no one's going to gonna tell, like this, you know, because right they want to come back for another, experience you know, sexy part. We have the entire city and the strip right in so front of us. So much These dirt. These are phenomenal. And that's pretty much it for the tour of this home. But as we always do, we're going to spend a few more hours here, wait for the sun to go like down. Like nothing so is green. At dusk. But yes, this is a very sexy house. Very sexy house. Like I'm not, I can't knock the house. The house is very sexy. I've probably said sexy. Like if I go back and I count as many times as I've said that word, <laughs> make a make like a sexy counter. It 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 it, it, it it'll be a lot. But yeah. I'm a fan of the house, you know, minus the couple of, you know, few things that I pointed out, but it's awesome. All right, everyone, that's it for the tour. What an incredible property. I mean, look at the views right behind me. We have this ship and entire Las Vegas. My hat's off to Blue Heron for doing a phenomenal. Yeah, they did. They definitely did a phenomenal job. Uh, you know, this this actually is the house from directly from uh, their website. It is currently for sale, like I mentioned already. It's currently for sale at uh, thirty four million. Um, we'll we'll go ahead and we'll we'll kind of look at the listing. But as you can see, it did set the record at twenty five million. So that is pretty it's pretty huge. It's pretty huge. I don't remember exactly when it sold. I probably could have just looked at it uh, here. On, on Zillow, which is, you know, what we'll do now. But it says four, four bedrooms. I, you know, still didn't understand the, con like the conversion of how you get this to go from uh, three bedrooms to five. Like that really wasn't explained. And right here it says four to seven. So you can convert it from four to seven. So I have no idea. Uh, obviously the space is there. But, you know, it's probably one of those sliding glass situations. But, yeah, I I like a lot of the stuff that I've seen in there. But, yes, let's look and see. So, it's sold in 2021. So, it's a little more than two years. It's going, going on three years. So, so, about two and a half years. Okay originally listed at 28 million right the land was purchased for what two two million or you know as part of a two million dollar acquisition uh yeah put it up for 28 million sold for 25 currently listed for 34 so this is the the largest of the pricing uh it's the the most expensive home on the market, seven to eleven. Like th these are things I don't like. It really wasn't explained, but this is on an acre of of, of dirt, sprawling dirt, <laughs> sprawling desert dirt. Not a whole lot of greenery there, um, but yeah, it's very nice. Been on the market for a little over two months. So uh, next, we're gonna check out uh, Josh. You know, looking looking at this. This house, you know, to be honest with you, I think I've seen this video already. 
But we'll, we'll check it out again anyway, see this if I remember it. This is a car it. elevator, and your car elevates up to the master bedroom. So before you go to bed, you can say goodnight to your car. Hey, honey, I'll be right to bed. I'm just saying goodnight to my Ferrari real quick. <laughs> Worked hard for you. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, I That's got car seats feature. in my mobile office. That's how I roll. <laughs> Are you guys ready for a super special YouTube episode? That's right, we're here in Las Vegas right now. So this now. was listed for and 32 And what you're about million. to see behind you is the most expensive house in all of Las Vegas. So we're gonna check it out. We got Ivan Share of the Ivan Share Group who's gonna give us the tour. I don't even wanna begin to tell you what's in this house because you're gonna see it in a minute and it's gonna blow your mind. But I'm actually here in Vegas for a speaking engagement. I'm speaking at the Remax Global Convention to about 8,000 realtors tomorrow but you know, everywhere we go in the world, we gotta stop off and see some crazy real estate. All right, we got my boy Ivan Share right here. What's up, brother? What's up, Josh? Good man. to see you. Good to see you too, buddy. Rockstar, real estate agent, Las Vegas, super luxury, high-end everything, kind of like the Altman brothers of Vegas. So uh, Ivan today was nice enough to let us in and give us a tour. Well, come on in, buddy. All right, so they have no idea what we're about to see right yeah. now. We're in Seven Hills, which is in Henderson. It's a custom home neighborhood. There's multiple different enclaves, but what makes this one so fantastic is it's a guard gate, and then behind that guard gate, there's it's another true. gate, and then there's okay. only four homes on this private enclave. Listen, I know you've done some amazing houses. I've seen what you do. You gotta check this place out. There's nothing like it, especially in Vegas. It's unbelievable. You guys ready? You wanna see it? Yeah. See it. Come on. Four beds, nine baths, 14,000 square feet. Ooh, the lot is not the same size as the one we just seen. Why am I rapping? I don't know. $32 million in Vegas. <laughs> and people think about that and they're like, how's that possible in the desert? But if I tell you the transformation that this city has gone through over the last several years with the influx of people coming in from out of state, this house is ridiculous. And this is best in class. I mean, they did some really demand. unique things. Even this, this table, which you're looking at, you think a breakfast table. I've seen a breakfast table before. This has no legs. Yeah, that's crazy. This no is, legs. They had a cantilevered into the foundation. Oh my God. It's unbelievable. Where are we gonna start? Cause there's a lot to and, see. Yeah, there, this there place is a lot is this to place. see. I, I like really this place think too. you have to see the money This shot. place is more <laughs> functional. <laughs> unbelievable. Oh my God. What? So you have to realize the strip is our ocean out here. Yes. And at nighttime, as you'll see, this place gets electric. The Heck cool thing yeah. about this house also, Josh, is that you've got heated floors outside, inside. The house is, got has LEDs. In the ceiling. You've got uh, thermal layers. Wait, wait, wait. These are heated floors. They're heated floors. Outside heated floors. Bet you never saw that before. Check this kind out. Kind of pointless in Vegas, houses, but you know, I guess at night, at night it's dirt. useful because <laughs> at night Vegas does get cold. In. To but one in of the, the day, coolest putt putt uh, you don't areas need that I've seen in a house. I mean, you got like 12 different putt putt holes here. Look at that. You got people That's coming sweet. down here and they're about to hit their final shot. What hole is that? Do you know? Whatever hole you want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at the house, what it looks like. The structure of this house is just phenomenal. So the golf this course. This is the money shot for sure here. Let's is also your Before neighbor. Before we go look at all these hangout spots, this is 37,000 gallons of water in this pool. And you'd, you'd never know it, but it's just this incredible pool. You've got the iridescent tile, water features everywhere. It's, as I mentioned, there's, there's nothing like it. Here you have, I mean, you, got, you need your keg, you need your ice cream machine, My you need gosh. your full outdoor This is kitchen. so functional. Wait, where's the ice cream machine? Right like, there. Oh, you put your keg there, you got your Come tap. Here. I've always wanted on, to do talk this, to and me. now I can't get in trouble. Well, uh, ice cream maker? <laughs> just kidding. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, you're having parties here, too. After this. There's no way. This is the coolest thing ever. I'm actually going to take a picture of that. I got to uh, send it to my assistant. Uh, and I, we have to order this for the Altman Brothers office, for sure. You got a regular living room, it's covered, it's outside, and you have the I wall like the color palette of this house, TVs. too. So the like, I like the, 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 just insane. the, the media slate with the, media. the light there's, gray. There's, 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 there's nothing like it. Look at this. Look at the side oh, of that oh, screen. Oh, oh, oh. Did not see wow. this in the other house. I will admit, it's there was curved. no screening room. Oh, this is a serious screen. Yeah. Listen, for everybody who does a movie theater in their house and they think they got the best movie theater in town. This is, this is, this I is like the this. screen <laughs> that you need to compete with in order to say that sentence. This is serious though. This is a, it's projector, but this is built in like this. 
I mean, next level. As we're yeah. leaving, just little fun things. They have these reverse turbines. I've seen them before, but I've never seen them upside down. They're they very cool. And at night, you know, when everything's darker, this is, it's amazing. Come check this out. We're going to show you this in a little. We're going to give you a sneak peek. Is of that what a is wine right dispenser? Here. This is a climbing wall. This in a little. We're going to. That's a wine dispenser. It, wine station. This is my kind of house. Peek of what is right here. This is a climbing wall. Have you ever seen two realtors <laughs> climb a climbing wall? That is that is a it's, very it's, special it's feature. Happen. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, check this out. This is crazy. Oh, Just yeah. all of this. I love the way the wall is. It actually pulls the color from this amazing, very unique sculpture. I'm not a two things I love: dogs fan and of giraffes. The, this, I'm actually a big giraffe sculpture, fan. Believe but, it or not, I think you know, they're amazing animals. Um, gotta sell it, Josh. Kind of I feel you. out that color, and I love this thing. You look I wouldn't up, even point it out. The sculpture, piece of art. I mean, everything in here is a piece of art. The glass elevator. They made it an art piece. I mean, usually for me, you throw a Buddha right so there. You throw a Buddha cool. right there. And as you're going down, you got those little. You Are come you in, you appreciate yeah, the, climbing guys. the zen. The guys climbing as the elevator goes up. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And then we got a gym behind the bar. You have to make it through the bar to get to the gym. You have to have a couple drinks. Oh my God. It's the ultimate game room. Another yes. thing we just saw that we're gonna put in the Allman Brothers office. That is this, insane. A dollar loan center. So you can borrow money. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what exactly this is, but it's awesome. So another bar, another hangout space. You got your poker table. That's the you got spot. air hockey. I mean, Bo it's knows. really a cool okay. hangout space. This is a real poker table here. A uh, self-shuffling signed uh, too. deck mate over here. You put them in, it's shuffling. So, Someone's definitely lost a lot of money on it's this. It's the real deal. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, this I, is I, definitely man. custom made. We got a jump. This is the bar of bars, TVs. baby. Isn't this the ultimate man cave? <laughs> Look at this. They got this the black card on the wall. Gangsters from back in the day. And their signatures. Oh my God. What good's a man cave? You gotta have an indoor basketball court. <laughs> Watch yourself. Yes. Saying. No way. Josh what? Could not hoop. How cool is this? <laughs> are you kidding me? There you go. We are in a basketball court in a mansion in Las Vegas today. This is a, uh, I'm, a I'm glad he didn't show battery himself. gun. Uh, I remember seeing this in The Last Samurai. Trying to movie. shoot. Phenomenal. Because that's one of my favorite movies, Tom Cruise. And this is the original uh, machine gun. And you basically, you put the bullets in and you turn this and it goes and it shoots. You know, it's crazy. Spins. We haven't seen a and single this, bedroom. This is actually obviously one of them that's been completely restored. Look at this clip. But I've never seen this. This is the clip where the bullets go. Insane. I've never seen this in real life. Yeah, you can't miss this, Josh. I've, I've never seen one of these before. This is a car elevator. So you pull in, you pull your car into the spot, you flip a switch and your car elevates up to the master bedroom. In case you want to, you know. Come on, that your... takes a whole new level of I love my car, right? You sleep with your car. <laughs> there you go. So you I mean... pull in here. You press Wait, what did that say? So ups, there's only. Ups, go. So you, I love. This is one ever built. One of two car elevators ever built. Original is in Porsche Design Tower in Miami. Of my car, right? You sleep with your car. <laughs> there you go. So you I pull mean, in here, you press a button, it goes upstairs, and the master's above us the over master, here. We're going to go there right now. We call it the primary now. So one of the things that's instant when you come out here is the size of this balcony. <laughs> Holy cannoli. Yes, that somebody, is a balcony that you had grabbed a ravioli. Like oh my God, are you kidding me? And the size of the bed. But the cool thing is, you have a wow. skylight over your mask, so you think, I'm never going to get any sleep, the light's going to come in. Well, there's a shade. Well, I don't want it to be obstructed. Well, the whole glass removes if you want it empty. Oh and you see the projector coming out of the top there? Yeah. There's a screen that drops down right here, and there's chairs here because it plays a reverse image on the other side, <laughs> so you can watch it on both sides. Whoever owns wow. this, you are my hero. <laughs> Who has a hot tub with acrylic background that hangs over the edge of their balcony from their master, That's so you can sick. look out at night and look at the strip and the golf course and the views? I've never seen that. No, no, I've never seen it like that, that's for sure. This is the and primary. And this window, the this primaries. is where when your car is up, 
where the elevator brings your car, so before you go to bed, you can say goodnight to your car. Hey honey, I'll be right to bed. I'm just saying goodnight to my Ferrari real quick. It worked hard for you. I'll see you tomorrow. I mean, you got a tub that fills from the ceiling. Literally, it's your spa, your own wellness center. I in like your bedroom. that. This bathtub is so big. Nice steel tub. On both sides. There are two of them, and they come down exactly where the curve is. I can tell where it kind of just goes right in there and doesn't make a loud splash. Even out here, they have an outdoor shower. Look at this. You got your outdoor body you got shower, the massage you got table, your everything. rain shower head, the towel warmer. This is where you get your massage. Inside, you got your Vichy shower. I mean, it's a car wash. This is the craziest shower I've ever seen. Now these yeah, lights sick. change color, whatever color you want them. Right now they're white, they can be red, blue, green, purple, whatever you want. Check this out. Look at this. So we just went from ultra modern to a little bit more rustic. A little bit of country, because we're in Vegas. And don't forget, Vegas is a little country. This is so cool. This is a real wine holder which it is, it's a wine, you know, cellar type of deal. And he lit them up and whatever bottle you put there is the light that you get. This is the intimate space where it's just you and your partner or you and a buddy and you're hanging out here. For me, I'd smoke cigars down here. Yep. And then I'd go for a climb. Nope. How cool is this? So, you know, what you don't realize is in all these water features, they're fire features as well that are hidden right there. So this is the first ever real deal climbing wall that I've ever seen in a single family residence. And you know, I've seen a couple that have imitated something like this. I really, really hope that water real is being deal recycled. When you have I know they didn't. The I haven't heard a you can single let your kids climb on this thing because it's safe because of a harness. Person talk about the fun. You know what I mean, happens to the water. It's a really good exercise. But you get to the top level, I really you hope it's, it's being recycled. Strip. Is this Otherwise, that water bill is insane. That we've ever seen on Altman's YouTube channel. So all we've seen was the it's primary. It's definitely up there in the top five. Big shout out to Ivan Share. That, okay, Ivan that's Cher probably the owner Appreciate right there sitting, sitting down. Thank you so much, man. Thanks, man. We're out of here. Thanks for that's subscribing. That's definitely because he's out. like. Hit the like button. We will see you. Thanks, We're guys. Let's I don't, get, I don't care about you guys shooting so this video I'm anymore. I know, I know what you're do you trying to sell the house. If I hit this, yeah, but you're on. Here we go. it's not important. I told you. I told Josh. Josh, you suck. <laughs> Josh, you suck, bro. <laughs> Yo, I look, when it comes to real estate, you are a stone cold killer. But boy, you suck at basketball. He was a, he was a kicker, by the way, if, if, if anyone knows. He could kick. He can he can kick. He's pretty he can, he's he can kick. So I give him I give him massive props for that. Massive props for that. Um so yeah. So we're so where do we go now? Uh, <laughs> I would have liked to have seen, you know, other bedrooms, but there are only three other bedrooms in, in this house. And what we saw was basically the, the key components of the house, which was all those like specialty rooms, which were amazing. We didn't see an office. I know for sure this guy has an office because anyone with this kind of money has an office. I mean... I don't have nowhere near that money. I'm in my office at home. So I know for sure there's an office here. Uh, is it part of like the, the house? Like, you know, may, maybe we could take a quick look at it. But yeah, it, it, the guy took it off the market. Uh, you know, probably wasn't moving as fast as he would like, which is, you know, understandable. I mean, it's a, spe it's a special house. So these are kind of things that we already seen. I'm just looking for extra bedrooms. You know, I think I think how I remember this house is um I think Graham Stephan uh sat down with this guy, like the the owner, and and did like an interview. Guy has a lot of money. That 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 much I remember about the interview. The guy has a lot of money. Uh but yeah, this is really, really nice setup. I mean, you definitely are going to have some some nice parties here. I know for sure he does. He's a Raider fan. Uh, I guess. <laughs> I, can't, I can't say anything. So don't listen to me when it comes to sports. There's almost 200 pictures. Wow, we're going to be clicking for a little while. 
I'm just looking for look, we didn't see we didn't see the closet. Uh so this is the primary closet. I like that. Is this part of the primary still? Because this is like a locker. Like, you know, you can see here. So the, the, there's parts of this house we didn't get to see. This is definitely a uh, different shower. Situ oh, no, we we did see the shower. The, that's all part of the same. But yeah, look at this. Like, there are a lot of stuff we didn't get to see. And I, obviously, uh, here's the office. And see, I told you, told you there was going to be an office. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff we didn't get to see. It was really like a more uh, highlight the the things that make the place amazing. You know, that's what, what's going to get people in the door. Okay, are these the same pictures over again? They're just like reposted because yeah, that these are all the same pictures. Um, they yeah, they're these all the same pictures. Uh, I personally like this house so let's talk about the two houses that have 30 million dollar price tags this one's built in 2017 by the way uh so this guy he bought the land and, and built it himself so he bought it in 2014 and finished completion in 2017 he's got a chance to enjoy you know what he built and said hey you know what for 32 million, someone can have this. And I can imagine that he made up his mind, uh, especially after this one initially sold in June. So when he when, when did he put it up? Put it up in August, right? So this one it closed in June at 25 million. So he's like, oh, I, th I think my house is better than this because, you know, that, that's 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 what you do when you have when you know you have a trophy property. You're like, hey, I'm in Henderson. They're in Henderson. I'm in a gated community. They're in a gated community. We got more gates than them. And we're by the golf course. It is on a smaller lot. You know, it is on a smaller lot. But it's only maybe like by a third, it's maybe about a third smaller but yeah, this 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 guy was like, you know what? No one bought it. It's cool. I love it. I don't I don't, you know, probably got tired of people coming over, you know, and he just wants to party it out some more. I don't blame him. This place is amazing. I I I love it. I love this one too. I love this one too. Now, stacking, you know, the two against each other. Which one do you prefer? For me, for me, considering that I have kids for the foreseeable future, <laughs> I would pick this because this is set up better where less disasters can happen, right? Having this one pool, like, I, don't get me wrong, I like water features, like how they, they had the water feature with the, you know, with the giraffe and the dog, you know, sculpture, which I'm sure is super duper expensive. I'm not disrespecting your sculpture, Mr. Uh, owner of this amazing property. I'm not disrespecting your sculpture. I'm just saying at that water feature, I would have preferred like a Buddha some jade, some, some, something like that would have made more sense to me than a giraffe and a dog. But that's besides the point. That That's really like the, the thing that doesn't matter because I'm sure, you know, he's probably going to take that with him because he loves that thing. You can tell the fact that he highlighted it as a major thing that's a part of this water feature. I get it. Okay. So, yeah, for me, this, this house makes more sense. You know, it's got more uh, of things that I enjoy, like the poker room and, you know, having those TVs in, in there to, to have, you know, four games going at once or, you know, it could be anything, right? You could have anything going going up there, you know, and it had the bar and, you know, it had a, a of course, a bar leading to the gym. 
I see why the bar is there before the gym because he probably is like, I, I'm going to I'm going to go work out today. And he probably has a drink and then he's like, oh, I'm good. <laughs> Me, I would use the hell out out of the gym. Um, and my, that bar, that bar probably wouldn't even be a bar for me. That's probably where I just put like, uh, you know, protein powders and have like a blender. And But yeah, anyway, that guy definitely likes to party. He has that wine dispenser. He has the, the uh, tap, you know, uh, beer tap. I like, I like this guy's lifestyle. So functionally, this, this, this house is better suited for myself. Now, if I'm some young no kid having a multi-millionaire that just wants to live just wants the penny dropper if you want just the penny dropper just the penny dropper okay or boxer dropper you know i don't care what side of the field you you on okay i'm just making it clear making it clear do you boo do you if i'm just trying to have like the most sexy property available where I could go to the strip, have a wild time and say, hey, we're going to have this. I'm going to, you know, have a little after party get together and I'm just trying to, to, to live wild and free. I'm telling you, I want this. So any young billionaire, this, this is perfect for you. OK. Young, young, uh, multimillionaire. Uh, if you watching this, I get, I could get you in the door. <laughs> yeah, I might, I may not have a real estate license in Vegas, but I'm gonna get you in the door, and we are gonna party it up, man. We're gonna be best friends. We're gonna live it up. We're gonna hang over, okay? We're, yeah, this house does, does it, okay? This is not a house for someone with a family. This is you either like in your in your early 50s retired, no more children, you just got a divorce. I'm telling I'm telling you this this is the this is the 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 buyer pool for this house. Okay? The buyer pool for this house is you're 50. Okay, man, you could be you could be mid to late 40s, right? divorced okay we gotta gotta put the big divorced in there right divorced your kids are practically adults like you don't have any small children whatsoever no small children whatsoever so having all these all these water you know features and things that they could fall into and you know all the rocks they could pick up and start throwing at each other that's not a problem because your kids are either adults or teenagers and they get it. And you want to. You just want to have a good time because you just got out this divorce where, you know, your wife or husband beat you out of a lot of money, you know, because she she or he took half that sh and getting alimony. On the alimony pony. OK. And you like, man. I'm about to get wild, wild. I'm about to have 30, 40 of whatever it is I like at this house on a regular basis. I'm about to have me three or four different girlfriends, boyfriends, okay? Again, whatever, whatever, whatever you like, okay? I'm just telling you. And I'm, I'm going, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a get busy until, until something start working and all I, and all I got left is the ability to pop a blue diamond. <laughs> all I got left to do is pop a blue diamond. That's the only way I could get it rocking. <laughs> that blue diamond. But no, no, no. In all seriousness, that person or someone who is, you know, uh, young, rich, no matter if they got their money from a trust fund, no matter if they, they, you know, no matter how they got the, the money, they started, started a business. Cause there's, 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 there's so much money out there. Like start a business, you know, you, you, you just invented the next Facebook, 
you know, you're in Silicon Valley, Wh whatever it is you do from from 25 to mid 30s. And you have no kids. This is the big the biggest thing. You have no kids and you're in this 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 age bracket and you still you just want to keep partying and you want to have like. Like I said, you want to you want to have that thing that, that, that make make everybody take 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 off their uh their garments, okay? You want to have the thing that make everybody like you leave your garments at the door, leave your garments at the door. No garments allowed here. You want to go hang out in the sky lounge, you know? Like I said, you get you get that installation of that that two way mirror to where it you know you can see inside of the shower. You get that. Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, I, 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 this this video just went really, really bad. I'm, you know, I'm kind of glad I'm not monetized because I probably would not be saying half the stuff that I'm saying right now. But you hear me? <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> I would. I would. I'm telling you right now. I'm. I'm a. I'm. I'm a married man. I'm. I'm happy. I'm happy to be married. I love. I love my children. I love my children. Okay. Just in case my wife watches this. <laughs> I love my kids. Okay. I love my wife. I love. I love our house. <laughs> but man. Man. Oh man. <laughs> look 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 y'all but look in all seriousness um we're gonna wrap it up right there because this this get a little too damn wild for me <laughs> and look ain't even nothing happen ain't nothing happen ain't nothing happen but yeah so for me personally i'm taking the other house because you know i gotta i gotta bring my wife i gotta bring my kids you know what i'm saying we gotta bring me the wife kids you know have the space for the dog you know what i'm saying the dog can't be over there just licking up all all the water from inside the house you know drinking up all the chlorine you know we can't have that we can't have a dog doing that we can't have a dog doing that but yeah i'm taking i'm taking this one on Karina away Okay, Korean away from my from my current lifestyle. I have my buddies come over. We play some poker. We watch some games. Okay, I I hoop. I get to hoop because I'm a hoop. I'm a hoop all day, baby. I'm a hoop hoop. Okay, we ain't got to share the court with nobody. I'm a hoop. So yeah, this 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 house is more fitted for me. And then you got you know like the screening room and all all that. You know the what the, 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 the you know yeah yeah this 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 one this one does it for me. This one does it for me. Um. I'm really surprised it didn't sell. I'm, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm, I'm really surprised it didn't sell over the course of how long it was actually on the market. Uh, maybe the guy didn't want any. He, he, he. Again, people that have a lot of money sometimes, you know, they're stubborn. Especially if he loves this house, I, he probably was like, you know what? If it don't got a, a a thirty, a thirty on it, a thirty in the number, I'm, I'm not, I'm not even looking at it. I'm not even looking at the offer. That I'm just probably what his mindset was, and I and you know what I don't I don't blame him. Uh, his house definitely is more functional for for you know modern everyday use. This house is more functional for someone who's single. I'm just telling you the truth. It this is a single person house. This is not a house for someone who has a family. This is a single person's house versus. This could be a house for a single person or someone with a family. So I don't know. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Which which one do you prefer? Because, you know, whatever one, whatever one you end up getting, call me. OK, I'm coming over. We playing poker. If you if you get this one, I'm coming over. You playing. We playing some poker. And if you get this one, I'll be your guest bartender. But yeah. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of your day and, um, we'll definitely see you on the next one. Yeah. Peace. The blue diamonds.